Hey guys, welcome to the Martin Racing Channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing a much needed upgrade on the front forks of the X-Pro Storm. And also gonna be taking a look at a new rear shock that I got for the X-Pro Storm as well. But before we get into that, I wanna show you something that the delivery man just brought from Guts Racing. So everybody out at the Ray MX track, pretty much, everybody out there, we got Guts Racing seat phones and we have a couple of Guts seat covers coming in. So two of the 2019 bikes got tall seat phones. They got the medium softness. And then me and uh, my other buddy that has the 2013 to 2018 model CRF 110s, we got the soft phone for ours in the tall uh, size as well. Now something that was interesting about these two, I weighed these earlier and one of these, the foam was actually two pounds and the other one was 1.1 pounds. So I talked to Gut and asked them, you know, what's going on? And they told me that they're using a new foam now. And so they basically told me I could either use this or I could ship it back, which whatever I wanted to do. So I'm gonna talk to Josh and see what he wants to do. And see, both of the seats feel great. The new foam is kind of a, a, yellower, a yellower tint than this one, but uh, it's really, really, really soft. And like I said, it weighs less. So um, that's something I'll have to keep you updated on in the future on uh, what, we, what we liked about each style with medium and soft uh, firmness and how well they last as well. Something else that was awesome was Gus ended up sending a bunch of goodies. And so they ended up sending some cool new hats. So super, super excited about that. And uh, we got two big Guts banners and some lanyards. And then they also sent some cup or drink holders as well to keep them cool. So super thankful for Guts for sending that out to me. Um, very excited to test all these out and get to use this stuff that you sent. So I thank you very much. But without further ado, let's get into building this X-Pro. You're gonna get to see something that I've been waiting for for almost a year, and that is a DNM shock that was special made for the X-Pro Storm 125cc bike. It took me a long time to be able to find somebody that could actually get this made for me, but it's a thousand pound spring. The shock is fully adjustable, and so I'm super excited to try it out on the bike. The Amazon shock works really well, and it lasted about nine months. However, it gets really spongy, and this last shock that I got after I replaced it in a couple videos back really hasn't lasted as long as the previous one did. So I got what I'm hoping to be the fix. So I'll show you what's going on with this rear shock, and then you'll get to see me install this. Then I'll take some laps around, you'll get to see uh, if this is an improvement or not. So looking at the bike, the problem that I'm having is that it's super spongy. So you can see the back end of the bike is sitting down just a ton compared to what it does whenever the shock's brand new. And something else you'll see, whenever you hit something, I mean, it's really just not what you would want it to be. So you're going to get to see me install this and we'll check it out and see what you think. Got the forks out we're gonna go ahead and pour this fluid in here and see how much fluids in here i did notice that the forks are leaking just a little bit but i have the old forks from whenever i replaced these so i'm gonna see which uh chrome part is in better shape and then i'm gonna clean the seals and hope 
that that's going to take care of it. Definitely built different than the other ones. That's for sure. So kind of excited about these. These are built a little bit different, so I can actually put a preload spacer under here and set it up for my weight a little bit better. So I'm gonna end up doing that before I put them back into the bike as well. So very excited about being able to modify it a little bit and get it to actually feel better for my weight like I was able to do with the rear shocks. I'm not sure what weight oil comes into the, in the factory forks, but I'm gonna end up going with the 20 weight fork oil and I'll have a link to that in the description of the video as well in case you wanna try that for yourself. It's so like this one's at about 125 milliliters. We see what the other one is and then we'll just split the difference between the two. This one's also at about 125 milliliters or just a little bit over four ounces. All right, so what we decided to do was we took just a tool to determine how long this was so that we could keep this at the same height as it is now. And we ended up finding a nut that was three eighths and we had two of them. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right here whenever this spring is compressed to put a little bit more uh, preload on this spring so that hopefully it will stiffen up the suspension a little bit better for my weight and act the way that I want it to. All right, so whenever we just undid that, about three more ounces of oil came out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put three ounces of oil in before we put the spring in. All right, so we've done that. You gotta lean this over to be able to keep this. And we put right about four ounces of oil already in here. The 3 8 inch spacer that we're putting in here. It runs almost to the bottom of the press on this one. All of these, I say all of these, a lot of these are a little bit different. So you just kind of got to take yours apart and see if yours are designed this way. If they're designed like this, it'll work out perfect, just like we're doing. If not, you'll be able to change the oil weight. Listen. All right, so what I did was I ended up, I took this 3 8 inch spacer, went all the way down to the bottom, and then I took the measurement tool that we took from the beginning to see where this set at on this. And so as soon as it was at this point, all I did was we took this and ran this one all the way down to where it fit perfect on here. Now they're jammed together. There is thread locker under here. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna screw the cap on top of it and then it'll be exactly how it was from the factory, except we have a little bit of preload on the spring now. All right, so we ended up doing a total of eight ounces of oil. We put four ounces of oil first, and then put another four ounces once we got it built back together. Now what we're doing is pumping the air out of the fork tube, and then we'll reassemble it and be able to stick it into the bike, and it'll be ready to go. And then all we're gonna do is do the exact same thing to the other one. While I'm waiting on finishing the forks up, I got in touch with Guts Racing and they're gonna cover this new seat that I made. And so I'll have another cool Guts Racing seat cover for this one with the ribs and the super duper gripper cover.
So I'm going to go ahead and take this off right now and get that shipped to them. And then we're going to finish up the forks in just a minute. And I'm going to borrow the seat off of my brother's old bike and put on here so that I can test out the forks and this rear shock. So we just got it done. I'm going to see if it feels any bit better. It's definitely, you got to try to push it down. I mean, it's, feels way, it's, it's way stiffer than what it was. So uh, that's going to be a combination of that 20 weight and those preload spacers. I'm going to try to take it around and see what it feels like riding it. But uh, I actually, I feel, I feel good about the mod that we did. So I'm excited to see how it's going to perform whenever we hit some big jumps with it. All right, guys. So this is going to be the first time riding the bike after installing the DNM rear shock. Remember, this is a thousand pound rear shock spring. And then this is the first time with the new fork upgrade with the 3 8 inch preload and the 20 weight fork oil.
So the bike feels great. I'm super pleased with what I did. Actually really happy. You probably hear it in my voice. Breathing a little hard, but forks look good. I was scared it was gonna leak, but it's not. So that's even better news. So if you're looking to do this upgrade, I definitely say go for it. It's awesome. I love it. It feels really good. It has a oh God, ton of pop. Yeah, it has a ton of pop off the jumps now. That preload knocks it way up into the air. I guess it, since it's already loaded up, as soon as you come off the face of a jump, it shoots you way up in the air, but it's awesome. Guys, I sure appreciate you coming by to watch. Hope that you learned something new and something that you'd like to do to your bike. If you got any questions about anything, make sure to put it in the comments. I'm going to put a Bible scripture up here for you before you go. Y'all take it easy. I'll catch you next time. All right, we're going to try out the new suspension on the trail also.